forgot my net. Hmm. Oh well. Be fine. All right, <clears throat> I don't want to spare bait. Got a white color on there. Also have a little, it's kind of like a pearl trailer. Snagged. It's quick. I got everything set up now. I'm just kind of cruising along, making a few casts through there. Mainly just seeing if this radar's picking up anything. Switch to the jerk bait, see what that does. Oh. That's what I came out here for, right there. That's a massive fish. Oh my gosh. Of course my GoPro is not recording. Look at that fish. GoPro wasn't recording, but just look at that. This is probably a, I don't know, four and a half, five pounder. I'm about to weigh it and see. Spinnerbait got it done. Literally took it last second. Let's see. Okay. Four and a half pounds. Four and a half pounder. 4.63. Wait a second time, 4.63. First fish of the day, four and a half. Let her back in. Really, man, I had time to do an intro yet, so here we go. I am going to be testing out the Hummingbird Helix 7 Fish Finder. It is my second time on the water with it. First time was a little too cold to use. A little under the weather, feeling better today, so I decided to come out here and fish. I am trying a new lake to catfish at. Decided to make a quick few casts for bass, and it turns out they're they're here. So caught two fish within 30 minutes. One on the spinner bait, another one on the uh, jerk bait. But gonna continue fishing. Hopefully catch some more. Y'all stay tuned for today's video. Should be a good one. right there not seeing anything on the radar right here so you can see it's pretty uh pretty dull let's see let's go down over here in this little corner see if we can't catch some cats or another bass i'm gonna just keep going until i see something So 
so this fish finder has four or five different modes. You got the mega down imaging, which I have displayed right now. Split screen, which is the sonar to the left. Mega down imaging to the right. It's probably the one I'll be running with the most. Then you have the just the sonar. Lake map. As you can see where I've, I've been. Bigger lake map, sonar lake map. And then this one's pretty cool. It's got three different split screens. One with the lake map, one with the mega down imaging and the sonar. And sonar <clears throat> shows you the depth, water temp, speed, a little bit bigger. This is the one I prefer right now. That could change. I might just do the mega down imaging, but for now, that's the one I've been rolling with the most. Sonar picks up a little bit more, but the mega down imaging, you're able to see a little bit more detail. So, still need to mess with the settings. If y'all have any, if y'all have any tips, please comment them or message me below, and I'll be sure to use it. So right now, I feel like it could be dialed in a little bit better. Well guys, decided to wrap it up. Alligator just started acting up and then the sun's going down anyway, so gonna be out here next year. Uh, it's already nearly New Year, so plan on catching some more bass out here at this clear lake and hopefully land on another five pounder. That was nice. Headed back home now. Time to go spend Christmas with the family open up some presents and see what I got. Maybe more fish and stuff. So next time I come out here, definitely not taking a cat rod. Didn't see any catfish. Maybe saw a few, but I saw a lot of bass. They kind of just, the bite just died down after two o'clock. Maybe had a few bites here or there and that was it. So headed home now, got about an hour drive back and y'all stay tuned for the next video. Gonna be posting a lot more content. I'm hoping to get a drone in the future for some aerial shots. And then I'm also gonna have more rods, more reels, some more reviews, some more bass fishing, cat fishing, um, crappie once I get into crappie fishing. And it uh, should be good. It should be a lot of fun. And y'all stay tuned for the next video.